going to deliver some postcards that tenants have filled out from across the city to Kamala, Senator Harris. Um, she's against the HUD cuts, and we're just pushing her to keep pushing as hard as she can to convince the rest of the administration that you know this is this is one of the worst cuts in, in history. If these cuts go through, I know three people who might lose their Section 8 in a snap. Yes, so I am the Section 8 advocate for the Housing Rights Committee of San Francisco. Woo! And, hey, 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 hey. and these cuts would greatly affect the majority of my tenants, as most of them are elderly, disabled, have children. And if these cuts do go through, like Leslie touched on earlier, $986 million would be lost and these tenants would be out on the streets, where are they going to go? These stories are, are very helpful for us because I think it really shines a light on the, you know, on the human side of this. These aren't just policies and words on a piece of paper. These are, these are you know, uh, issues that have you know, really serious consequences for folks. So perhaps we might ask you, dare I say it, demand, that you and Ms. Feinstein work with the Democratic Senate leadership and commit to us that you will not permit cloture for a vote on a HUD appropriations bill that includes any cuts. I, I can't make any commitments for the senator. What I can do is certainly take your recommendation and your, your request, and I will certainly pass that along, pass that along to the senator. No wars, no walls. We need